Hey, number seven. What does it mean for you? It's perfection. When you check the Greek alphabets, when you talk about number seven, it's perfection. If you look at seven for Georgian club, it looks like it means curse. That is very analogous. Like I said, if it has to do with Christianity, if it has to do with the Hebrew alphabet, seven is perfection. But seven is curse for club. Probably that is the demonic one. If you look at Georgian club, let's go back first to Mines. Okay. In his seventh season. He actually managed to get Mines up in his fourth season. In his seventh season, he sent them back. He sent them down to relegation. <laughs> he left the job there, moved to Dortmund. Started off brilliant. They challenged Bayern Munich. They even won the Bundesliga. Back to back. We went, went to the Champions League final. In his seventh season, Dortmund finished seventh. Yeah. Klopp was relieved of his duties. Mm -hmm. It is seven again in Liverpool. Yeah. And this has been Liverpool's worst start to the season. Wow. Yeah. They say lightning strikes twice, but it looks like lightning now strikes thrice in Trajan Club tonight. And number seven is not perfection for him. Yeah, like, um, you see, there, there is something about um, numbers and about um, trends. Um, you, you might think that uh, it's, it's, it's a normal thing, but um, um, it's with every human. You see, I always say that football is not just what we see it to be. There are some things that actually go beyond football. Like yes, we talk about Jason no, Klopp's seven curses. Yeah, I'm really just real. giving you a few instances. Like Mourinho's third season curse. It, it's it's funny, but it has happened in about four, three or four in in in, in Chelsea, in United, uh, in Inter. He had to leave because it had happened, and um, it, it's something that has been repeated. Even Chelsea was twice. It has been repeating, and with Klopp, it's rather funny that. The same thing that happens, it's more like a, it's a deja vu uh, happening all over again. I'm not a fan of omens, but if you look at what's happening, I'm tempted to believe after seven years at the home of affairs, to be fair to Klopp, you suddenly lose some bit of interest. Because seven years he's built this Liverpool team. He's literally won everything that's on offer. And there's, that, there's no hunger anymore to want to win. Because you've literally explored every angle, tasted of every delight. What is there to win again? So I'll, maybe that is exactly... I'll, I'll want to talk about two things here. First about women, then you have to believe. I'm just going to give you just about two. One of them is Liverpool. You know that the first, the, the last but two times Liverpool won the Champions League in the 80s. That very year was the year Prince Charles married. That was the very year that Pope Benedict XVI was brought into. 2005. It was the same time that Prince Charles married again. In, in the 1980s, is it 83 or 85, he married Princess Diana. Pope Benedict XVI came in. 2005. That was the time that he married Camilla. And that was the very year that Joseph Ratzinger, that is, um, the, the other one was Pope John Paul. This one's Joseph Ratzinger, that's Pope Benedict XVI. He married again. So it was like two things. How can two, three things simultaneously happen no, at the same time? Like AC Milan. Whenever they go to the Champions League final with white, they hardly lose. Real Madrid, whenever they go to the Champions League final with white, they hardly lose. So, omens do happen in football. Believe it or not, they do happen. There are players who come to the, the, the football field with only one foot, it happens. There are players that before they play their final match, there are things they do. So, you think it's more spiritual, I suppose? Yes, to... that is it. I, I, I just want you to understand that there are some things you have to believe. Now, back to the, the Liverpool bits. If you say that they've lost hunger, then I would say, one, Klopp is not a great coach, and two, the crop of players are not great players. Because if you are talking about a crop of players that should lose hunger, then you talk about Real Madrid. What is more than winning Champions League three times? That is over self-actualization. And you know that self-actualization in football is actually the World Cup, but in club, it's the Champions League. But I think self-actualization... In the six years, in the seven years, you won one league title, one Champions League. It's relative for the seven. Fergie it's... played with a crop of players, about five players, who won the league, about five, six, seven, Champions League treble. That's true. So That's it takes point. the coach who is able to motivate players beyond self actualization. Let's look at Liverpool, actually. They hadn't won the Premier League in over 30 years. So had... clubs, clubs stepped on the They state. had won 18 times. They had won 18 times, yes. but they have waited 30 years to win. But they had won 18 times. If you were times. a club, you've achieved what exactly you Liverpool wanted Liverpool is not Leicester City, who has won the league the first time. Well, I would say that after winning the league in 2016, they've self-actualized. Or they are not Chelsea, who have not won the league in 50 years, and have won it twice, and they will say that they've self-actualized. So it's, it's an 18-time champion. 
they were actually the biggest team in England. The manager's tired of the project. So it is the manager who does not have the balls to stick to the players that they should go beyond what they've done. And Liverpool is bigger than what it looks to be. Like I tell you, this is Fergus who wins the league every season. I still wonder how he motivates the player. What is there to win again? Maybe Klopp is the type that if he wins, he feels it's enough. Because you look at Mainz, they had languished in the Bundesliga too for a while. Of course. He got them up there. Mm -hmm. And felt like we're playing something. So like it means that this is a club who is not able to motivate players to do way more than they think they this can do. This is a club who is content with his achievement. You could also see from that particular so you, point. So you, you, you say that winning one championship with Liverpool is an achievement. Winning one Premier League title, they had waited 30 years to. We always to talk win. about that, but personally they talked about he won two Champions Leagues. So why didn't you say that by then he has also self-actualized? So after the first time it was enough. Well, club is the subject of discussion. And I'm trying to say that... That seven-year case is not, or in quote, seven-year case is something he shouldn't, he shouldn't be, be taunting himself with and be proud of. Because one, you are not in Dortmund, this is Liverpool. And the team that you are in, it's, more, it's not as if in the seventh year you've lost all the players you can think of. In Dortmund, you can make a bid for it because there have been players... You know there's a running team also in the seventh year when it comes to transfers. In the seventh year at Dortmund, he lost Robert Lewandowski to Bayern Munich. So you are now comparing Robert Lewandowski to no, in his, Mane? No, in his seventh year at Liverpool, he's lost Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane is not the biggest player in Liverpool. No, there's, there's just a running theme that so he, what I'm he trying loses to say key is that elements in his squad. I'm, I'm, I, I, I don't know if it, I'm trying to think that the seventh year thing is getting into his head. But if, I, I'm just being an if here, if that is the case, then I think... Um, it's, it's probably gotten into his head. But if that is not the case, then it's He's about time he back. breaks that jinx. He's going to break that jinx. I, do, I don't really see him do because it's Even more or less like... Liverpool have had this issue. You think he can break that jinx? Because in the seventh at Dortmund, they lost the DFB Pokal Cup final, by the way. And now, you see, unlike last season that a lot of the teams were down and were trying to rebuild, this team, a lot of the teams have beefed up. And no one is waiting for you. Last season, it was a two-horse race. Just Liverpool and City. And they stand on a bright note. Now, look at what my Manchester United is doing. Look at what Arsenal is doing. Look at even what Brighton... I'm not saying Brighton whoever would win the league. But, you see, there are lots of surprises. And the teams have beefed up. Nottingham Forest has bought 21 players. I'm not saying they are going to win the league. But they would have set you. So, if you don't start on this note, and, um, of course, this whole seven thing has come in, I don't see them to be the title contenders that I, I see them to be. But if this thing continues, then I think the whole thing is going to just uh, So, be like guys, I don't know what you hold about omens and superstition, but hey, let the conversation continue. Do you think Jetson Klopp's seventh year case is real or not? This is Sports 101. We're shooting live from Ad Focus Studios and Nachita Takradi, Ghana. My name is David Alfo. It's Percy Bonnie.